In this video, I'd like to talk about the skill FICA with ceiling. This actually comes up in your tax calculations from the employer side. And I wanted to present here a way to think about it that may make a bit more sense. There is an explanation that you can go over, but if you break it down this way, it'll give you a systematic way to do the calculation. The basic idea is that as you're earning money during the year, all of the money is subject to the Medicare tax. Money is subject to Social Security tax up to the wage ceiling for Social Security. And so as soon as you hit that ceiling, after that, you no longer pay Social Security taxes on the rest of your wages for the year. In this skill, there will be cases that you'll see where your current month's earnings are all still below the Social Security uh, wage ceiling in which case they're taxed fully, or you've already earned more than the wage ceiling, in which case they're not taxed at all. Here, I'm going to cover a case where you hit the wage ceiling during the current month. And here's how to think about it. I've opened up a text file down at the bottom, and we'll follow along here. So we're going to consider what part of the current month's wages are subject to that Social Security tax in this way. First, we look at the wages that we have so far year to date. In this case, we've earned 123,800. Now, if we look at the Social Security wage ceiling for this problem, we see that it's $128,400. And so the difference between that and the 123,800 is the amount that we would still need to get to that ceiling. In this case, that'll be 128,400 minus 123,800. And when we do that subtraction, we'll end up with 4,008, uh, sorry, $4,600. Our current month's earnings in this case are also given as $11,700. Now, when we compare these two, we see that the additional amount is less than the current month's earnings. So only $4,600 of the current month's earnings are subject to the Social Security tax. And we enter that here. So $4,600 of the current month's earnings are still below the wage ceiling. The rest of it is above the wage ceiling. And so that'll be the current month's earnings minus the earnings below the wage ceiling, which gives us, in this case, $6,100. So in this month, we earn $4,600, which takes us up to the wage ceiling, and then an additional $6,100 above the wage ceiling. Only the amount below the wage ceiling is taxed and it's taxed at 6.2%. And we end up there with, at this point I'm going to use the calculator here, $285.20. Now, for the Medicare tax, 
there's no wage ceiling for that. And so the current month's earnings are fully taxed at 1.45%, so 0.0145. Let me once again use the calculator for this. That gives us $169.65. And we'll now add the two together, 285.20 and 169.65 to give us a total of 454.85. And then we'll transfer that information into our question here. We can check to make sure that our calculations are correct. Yeah, note something else here. This is your half when you're looking at paying taxes of the deduction. The employer actually pays an equal amount, so they're also contributing to both the Social Security and Medicare tax. If you happen to be uh, self-employed, um, then you actually end up paying both halves. So in that case, you would actually be paying 12.4% in Social Security tax and another 2.9% in Medicare tax. In any case, this is a way to think about approaching this skill. You can now apply this to your work on the homework.